to stay a thumb up to enjoy this video. So I am uh, doing Inktober and this is the seventh day and the theme for the seventh day, the prompt for the seventh day is star. And uh, just so happens I know how to work a protractor and a ruler. And so I'm making a perfect star, uh, you know, fairly perfect. And I uh, just started in the middle of the paper and working my way out. Um, I uh, measured everything and, and uh, drew everything out as best that I could. And um, if you didn't know, uh, the outside corners of a star are 36 degrees. And if you'll um, measure from the center of the star, wherever you want the center of the star to be, to the outside of the star, um, like in this case, I measured from the center out six inches, and then you put that 36 degree um, mark right there um, at the end of the measurement, it actually turns out pretty good. Anyway, uh, you might want to Google it. I know that wasn't very good information. But uh, anyway, it's not very hard to make a perfect star. Uh, it might take a little practice, but I did it. And uh, I know you can do it too. And it turned out pretty cool. I like the way it looked. So um, I was thinking kind of a, I don't know, nautical kind of star. Uh, maybe even kind of rustic, like a, a sheriff's star. And... Uh, so I started with that. I didn't really have any kind of preconceived idea or plan. I just knew that I was going to make a um, perfect star, and then I was going to color every other uh, side of the star dark and every other side of the star uh, kind of a light gray wash. Uh, you know, uh, you've seen if you've seen my other videos, you know that my my ink is real washy, and I like that. So um, I like to have a lot of drips. So there's our first few drips and then after I did that after I got the star going I started a uh, few circles around the outside edge of it and just used some of the ink that was already there and some water to kind of uh, soften it up and, and get it to go from dark to light from each corner and anyway uh, you don't need all the details. You're watching the video. You can see it. Uh, Inktober has been a blast. I uh, really like this one. I uh, wasn't sure what I was going to do about Star, but I guess that's kind of the way of all the prompts. Probably all my videos sound the same. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, let me try this out. And, well, um, so Star was kind of cool. Uh, obviously, uh, stars are one of those things that make kind of cool tattoos. And so when I started this, I was thinking you know, what kind of tattoo would I want, um, and every, I guess every new element that I add to it, I'm kind of thinking, you know, what kind of mark, what kind of tattoo would, you know, be really cool looking, um, but then there's also this point where I just can't have a lot of white in the background, and if I don't really know what to do, well, I just fill it full of watery, washy ink, and, um, so that's what I did, did here for the background I also used the lines that I had drawn to make the star some of the lines that were already there um, I used those uh, to help make divisions in the background and I think those divisions kind of keep it interesting uh, if I had painted the entire background all one you know washy uh, grayed out um, ink color then I don't know, it wouldn't look very interesting, but because of those little white divisions, it gives it a little bit more interest. And then I went back into the inside with a, a nice dark uh, ink. I kind of let it fade out of my brush as I was dipping it into the water. And uh, this is what I ended up like, ended up with. Uh, obviously, I probably won't get this tattooed on my back or anything, but it does look cool. I might uh, put it on my Zazzle. Uh, store if you are interested in a t-shirt with this image on it, let me know in the comments down below uh, I'm thinking about um, adding it to my Zazzle store. There's a link to my Zazzle store in the description below and uh, There's some other places where you can find me like Instagram and Facebook uh, send me a friend request or uh, Follow me on Instagram and I'll probably end up following you back because I love to look at 
other artists work and see what they're doing and so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you're doing Inktober hope you're enjoying Inktober as much as I am uh, go make some art Please subscribe and leave a comment down below.